What's going on everybody? My name is Tim Uy and I share tips and tools to help you become the best digital artist in Gotham City. So if that's the kind of thing that interests you, go ahead and click that subscribe button to stay up to date on all future videos. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing three anatomy books to help you improve on your figure drawing. And the first book I'm going to introduce to you is a very, very specific kind of anatomy book, and that is Drawing the Head and Hands by Andrew Loomis. If you don't know who Andrew Loomis is, he's one of the golden age illustrators like J.C. Leyendecker, Howard Pyle, and the most famous one, Norman Rockwell. Andrew Loomis Loomis is also known for creating some of the most timeless instructional art books like Creative Illustration and of course this book right here. Basically if you see an instructional art book created by Andrew Loomis I say it's worth the money always always buy it. Now the reason why there's such a focus on the head and the hands is that the head is one of the most important parts of the figure. It's what identifies us and it's the most recognizable source of emotion. The head is also very complex to draw so understanding how to break the head down into different parts can help your figure or your character stand out even more. Andrew Loomis is also widely known for the Loomis method of drawing the head. And it's a very simple process of breaking down the complex structure of the head to help you understand it better and to help your characters look more appealing. Now the second part of this book also deals with the hands. Now the hands are probably the most difficult parts of the body to draw. There's so many different moving parts different hinges and different, I don't know, whatever you call these things. And just like the head, the hands are probably one of the most important things you gotta learn to draw because of how equally expressive they can be. Drawing the heads and hands also deals with the different kinds of proportions for different age groups. So of course you're not going to use the same method of drawing an adult head compared to a child's head or child hands to adult hands. He also goes over the different proportions of men and women when it comes to the head and hands as well. Now one thing I really like about this book is that the spine it lays flat on the table and it just makes it easier for you to practice drawing heads and hands while reading the book at the same time. Hello, this is Editing Tim from the Future speaking. Now one thing I forgot to mention is that I definitely would categorize this as a beginner book. So if you're starting out your artistic journey, this is definitely one book that I do recommend for you. Another thing you should also know is that there is a lot of text in this book, but I would not let all of this intimidate you. Everything that Andrew Loomis has to say is so good. He is such a genius when it comes to drawing and he's a great teacher as well. It will definitely help you out. 100%. The second book I recommend for anatomy or figure drawing are the Morpho series books by Michael Loricella or Loricella. I, I hope I said that right. He has several of these, by the way, different kinds. The ones that I have right now are drawing hands and feet and also simplified forms. I think these books are fantastic beginner books. They're at a small and compact size that you can bring anywhere. Now, of course, you are dealing with anatomy, so you will have some complex terms in there, but it's not a crazy amount. This book is also very easy to read. There's not a lot of text and there's a lot of illustrations that you can copy from. But one thing you have to notice, and I'm not quite sure if this is the intent of the author, but the spine is just a little bit detached. Well, I shouldn't say a little bit. It is really detached and I'm not sure if that was a design choice, but if that's the thing that really bothers you, just make sure you know that the spine is definitely like not not okay. <laughs> and my third anatomy book is a very popular one and that is Drawing the Head and Hands. Wait. And my third book is a very popular one. You've probably seen this one before. And this is Figure Drawing Design and Invention by Michael Hampton. Now this book is aimed at a wide variety of artists. So if you're into animation, if you're into comic book art, if you're into game design, concept art, this book is for you. Now, based on the amount of information in this book, I wouldn't necessarily categorize it as a beginner book, maybe a late beginner to early intermediate stage of artist, but that should not scare you into buying it. I think you will eventually transfer yourself to this book and it's going to help you figure out so much. I think it's a perfect balance between complex terms and words, as well as having simplified illustrations to help you understand better. Now, the most important thing you have to understand with this book is that this is not like a medical anatomy book. The main point of this book 
is to help you understand how to design the figure in an appealing way. One thing that I've learned over the years is that design is so important. We can learn perfect anatomy, but if we don't know how to design the body in a specific way, that anatomy, that figure is going to end up looking kind of like an action figure. It's going to look static. It's going to look stale. So understanding how to design the figure, that is so important. And it's going to help improve your character designs as well as your illustrations. When you finally get this book and you open it up, you're going to see that it goes over the major muscle groups like the muscles of the torso, the arms, the legs, head, and so much more. Michael Hampton breaks down each muscle group into basic shapes for the artist to easily understand. This book is a huge goldmine for understanding design and figure drawing, and I highly recommend it. Now, my version of this book is pretty old. The spine has already been creased, so I don't actually remember if this book naturally lays flat, but for me, I don't have to hold it down with one hand and it's pretty easy to draw alongside. But if you buy this book brand new and it starts to kind of like close up as you're drawing, uh, just hold it down and eventually over time, it's going to be able to keep itself open like that and you'll be fine. So those are the top three anatomy slash figure drawing books that I have for you. If you wanna purchase these books, I do have affiliate links down in the description below. I do get a small commission for every single purchase at no extra cost to you. If you learned something new, go ahead and click that like button down below and also don't forget to subscribe and if you want to stay up to date for more tips and tools for digital artists click that bell notification to stay up to date on all videos in the future that's it i have nothing else goodbye i want you guys to see this so it was my dog's birthday uh this week let me turn on this light we bought him a toy look at now look at all of it all destroyed totally destroyed